Hey everybody. So it's been a long time since I've done a video, but it's Jamie from Crunchier Than I Thought I'd Be and um, had a YouTube channel and decided to just focus on the Facebook page um, to have a little more control over some things. And so anyway, um, I'm excited because today uh, I figured I'd just take y'all along on uh, my journey of making some soap again. So it's the same recipe that I followed for um, the last couple years. I tweak it a little bit here and there. Today I'm doing a different essential oil scent um, and a different kind of soap. Um, I have been, it's so easy. I have been doing Phil's naphtha for a long time and I already unwrapped it, but this time I'm going to do a bar of zoat. Super easy. I'm going to grate it. Look, I got my little bucket ready. Um, I'll show you the ingredients real quick. Um, big 12 pound thing of baking soda. I only use a couple cups out of it. I'm not measuring anything, but, um, I have four glass drawers to fill. And so I'll do, um, the Arm & Hammer super washing soda and then a whole box of it. And then I'll do, um, 20 mule team borax. It's the detergent booster that cleans and deodorizes. And so when I use those three ingredients and the bar of soap and the essential oil, I'll do the ingredients, um, starting with two, and then I have this, um, handy dandy little blender, handheld blender thing that I bought, um, so I'll, um, it kind of grinds it down really fine, like powdery, and then, um, I'll put it in my little metal bucket that I love, and then, um, as each ingredient I put in, I'll mix it so it's really thoroughly mixed. So every scoopful that goes into the wash machine will have all the ingredients even. So I love that. So we're going to get going. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's fun. So anyway, I mean, who doesn't like easy, cheap, and fun? So here we go. It literally takes like two minutes. But I'm just going to start grating. Ow, down, down. This thing cut my hand. I'm going to start grating this bar of soap, and um, you'll see how long it takes. You can literally make your own batch of laundry soap. I mean, I only have to make this, like, once every two or three months. I made a batch a month ago, but um, I only used one box per um, thing, like one batch that filled like two glass jars and so that was maybe like two months ago I made that and um I still have plenty of it but I found I'm deep cleaning my house today because I'm uh the kids are still at school and so I have a couple hours to myself and so when I was deep cleaning I found these um I don't know glass jars like I have these oh and then uh, this one, I just used the end of it. And then I have one big plastic jug. Um, so I two batches would fill those four up. And those, along with the three other jars I still have full, I like to um, be plenty stocked at the house. Um, so those, all of this will get me through several, several months. It literally, look, I'm already halfway done with the bar. It doesn't take me very long to make it, but it saves time, um, especially when the kids are here, and um, I'm teaching them how to do the laundry, and so they help me with the soap some making sometimes, but um, they know how to, like, put their clothes in the little washing machine, they know how to get, like, a scoop of laundry soap, and they know the settings to put it all on, and so, um, really, this is just a time saver for me if I can just get full on all of this. I don't have to worry about it for, like at least three or four months, um, which y'all mamas that have kids know every minute you can save during the day is something you can spend that time doing that's more productive in another area of your house or time with your kids or something. Anyway, um, and if you're single doing this and you ain't got kids, spend that time wisely because when they come, uh, it needs to be, you know, I try to spend all my time with my kids, so... Uh, anyway, I don't know why I got off on that rampage, but I'm only, uh, I guess I'm five minutes into this, but, um, I did talk for a little bit first. Look, I'm down to the last part of this. Um, I don't have very much left, but 
Um, I call this last little piece the queen bee because she's like a big chunk that goes in there and uh, she will make the clothes smell really good. I mean, I can only grind it down so much before it's like going to grind my finger off and I ain't down for that. Um, so anyway, yeah, like, I can't grind it down any more than this. That's the queen bee. So then, um, look, it grinds it down like a little cheese. So then I just take that. I'm done. Oh, look, there's a little bit left. I'm done with this section. That was so easy. Look, that's what it looks like. So then the next thing I'll do is literally just pick one of these. I'll just do the borax. No rhyme or reason. Literally no rhyme or reason. Um, it can get a tiny bit messy, but um, when you clean up, when you sweep and then mop, it's going to be shiny and it's going to be clean. That's for daggum sure. It deodorizes also. When you wash this off your hands, they're going to be really soft. So, literally, that's what I do. You could do any combination that you want to do. But, <laughs> oof, oof. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I feel like I was in a bingo parlor for a minute. All that smoke. Ugh. Anyway, um, because I make huge batches at a time, I just dump the whole thing in because I know how far it'll go because I know I use a scoop at a time, which is like half a cup on hot water, let it dissolve, and then throw the clothes in and then turn the cold water on the rest of the cycle. When I put the clothes on top, then I do the other half a cup. So, anyway. Okay, so that's... The borax, oh yeah, now I'm going to show you how, watch this, I'm going to show you how, oh crap, um, look, this is what I got, and it's pretty awesome, I got it at Walmart, I want to say it was like 1988 or something, um, not the freaking year, you guys, that's how much it cost me, so this is what happens, like I just lock it in place, and I gotta hold it, because look, I don't know what happened, I think I dropped it too many times. Anyway, this is what it looks like, um, it's just one big mess, but here's when it mixes it up. Oh my word. It's messy, but, you see that corner in there? And sometimes there's clumps in there. So it's, I just mix up the clumps because I don't want those in water soap anyway. And when you do this, it helps grind up those little um, flakes anyway that I just ground up. So, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, now what do I do? Um, okay, I did borax. Now I'm going to do super washing soda. Lord Jesus, it's powdery. I do recommend doing this in a well-ventilated room so you don't get all choked up like I am. I'm in the bathroom. Look, y'all, I live in a tiny house. I custom ordered this building and then it was like a shed, like a cabin. Had a builder finish it out and I should have, I added extra windows to it, um, but I should have had him put one in the bathroom. But I didn't. I didn't get it. Anyway. That's the next move. I'm going to put a window in the bathroom. Uh, okay. So then I just did my super washing soda. Now look. I'm going to grind this up again. Oof. This is my least favorite part. Here we go. Oh, shit. I just go around. Take a minute. I want to make sure we get it. Even in there. I used to do it by, I know a couple videos where I did it by spoon, and I'm sure it was fine, but this is way better blended. It's a hot bag on this, but it's gonna be fine. ground up really good. Now, um, look. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Don't be looking at my fat butt. Now I'm going to put in, um, essential oil. And this time I have 
thrive. And it says, um, helps purify, energize, and boost immunity from farm to you. So, anyway, uh, y'all can use any essential oil you want. And that's really just for smell goods and, um, because all the ingredients are all natural, so it's not going to hurt anything. But you can have it smell like nothing. Um, but I can't stand, now that I haven't used traditional laundry soap in so long, um, when I get a hold of someone's clothes, maybe that had been washed somewhere else, and they're full of that chemical smell, at first you're like, oh, that smells good, but then you're like, oof, it's perfumes and dyes, and I mean, you have to use that stuff if y'all want to, but it makes my little baby's arms break out, and I can't stand it, so I do this for him, and plus it's better for us. And your money goes so much further. This cost me like 14 bucks. And like I said, it lasts several months. So here we go. Just blending this essential oil in so it gets into every little scoop hole too. down like a well old machine. Girl, please. Okay, so the last ingredient is baking soda. Look, I told y'all I don't measure nothing. This smells really good. I think it's like cinnamon. It definitely smells cinnamony. Okay, so yes, this is pure essential oil and it says 100% pure clove, lemon, cinnamon leaf, eucalyptus, and rosemary. I love it. Like, I love that so much. So, I need to start with my essential oils. But, oh, I've been looking for this measuring cup, y'all, for like a week. Oh, I put baking soda in the kids' bath water, too, just to, like a little bit. And I think it's so fun. It's naturally, you know, cleaning. And so, it all, it makes them super soft and it's fun for them and they love it. Anyway, I'm just rambling. But, like this, I'm not... I literally might do one more in case I get some clothes that are extra dirty. Look, we live on a big old farm, y'all. My kids play outside, and they can rough up some clothes and get them functified. Look, I'm not going to forget that scooper's in there. And so, this just makes everything clean. Makes it smell good. Takes all the stains out. It's still winter. All right, here we go. get all the clumps out. When I was talking, I got a little air powder pocket in my mouth. So I just do it several times on the outside circle. Make sure you're almost touching the bottom of the bucket. And then um, just round and round and round. And mix it up real good. And it does not under any circumstance have to be perfect, but I always get the big clumps out. Um, it's not going to hurt anything, but I like it mixed really well. Make sure no big clumps get on the clothes. I don't know. I just like it mixed really well. Okay. Y'all, we done. Look. That is a lot of bacon, uh, not bacon soda. That's a lot of laundry soap. It's like, so here's now what I do. Look. Um, okay, I'll just start with this in my big glass jar. Normally, I put it on top of this because I don't want to make a mess. And I'll just fill this cup because I know all the ingredients are evenly mixed in. I'll fill it up. I've got the lid over here somewhere. Look, I mean, it's like not a lot of mess at all. Y'all really should try this. Y'all got it. <coughs> still kind of Y'all gotta try this and tell me what you think. I'm loving the new scent, so I'm glad that I tried that one because I normally do lavender, and so it's kind of good to change this up. Look, I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna have enough in this current batch to do all four of these. So look, here's my little. Look, all I gotta do is wipe off the bottom. This right here will literally last me. I do like, I don't know. A load or two every two or three days. So this will literally last me 
six to eight weeks, this one right here. I mean, I just go down the row, y'all. Look, y'all don't have to sit here this whole time, but um, this will definitely feel, so here's what I do. Then I just set the jar in the bottom and just scoop around it, make it super easy. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I figured I'm doing it anyway. I'll shoot a new video for the page. I'll try to post more frequently. If y'all have questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, really, it's just learning and sharing and growing and just doing things natural. Um, it's what works for us. It's what works for my kids. It's fun for us. Um, y'all should try it. See what you think. Um, remember, you can make this any concoction that you want. You want more of one, less of one. But this is a really good, even um, distribution of all the ingredients. I've never had a problem with my clothes. It always gets stains out. It always smells good. It's affordable. And I know for a fact the ingredients are all natural, which is the most important thing to me. So, um, anyway. So, this whole video was 16 minutes. I talked half the time. You can make your own batch in 10, 15 minutes max to get yourself laundry soap for six months for 15 bucks. Um, so go get you some ingredients, go get you some essential oil, let me know what you think, let me know if you have any questions, and, um, share the videos on my page with your friends, or share my page with your friends or family that you think might be interested in our lifestyle out here, and kind of see how we do our living out here, it's pretty fun. Uh, farm living in a tiny house, realtor by day, which I love that part of my life, um, but I love my all natural life out here on the farm too, so you're kind of gonna, kind of, kind of gonna see a little bit of all my worlds wrapped up into this. I'll share it from my real estate page also. Um, anyway, y'all have a great day. Bye!